Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're checking out how LeBron spends 1.5 million on his body each year. So let's see what this is about. Before we do start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell button to get notified whenever I do upload a video. So guys, let's get it. By the end of his current deal with the Lakers, LeBron James will become the highest paid NBA player ever with more than $350 million in career Ooh. earnings. Of course, LeBron is not keeping all this money under the mattress. He happens to be an extremely successful investor with stake ownership in Beats by Dre, Ooh. Liverpool Football Club, and Blaze Pizza. Liverpool Football Club, damn. This guy is busy. Successful investor with stake ownership in Beats by Dre, Liverpool Football Club, and Blaze Pizza, among many Liverpool? other endorsements. LeBron is also known as a person who invests a lot of time and resources to keep his body in the best shape oh, possible. Damn. In this video, we'll look how- If I had 1.5 million, yes, please. I want that too. I mean, not as harsh, not harsh, but not as hard as he's investing in, in himself because he's an athlete. But I would love to invest probably a Half of that also on like PT, nutritionist, uh, gym person, <laughs> instructor, trainer. There we go. And then equipment and all that stuff. Because I would love to be tip game of my fitness. And Blaze Pizza, among many other endorsements. LeBron is also known as a person who invests a lot of time and resources to keep his body in the best Damn. shape possible. In this video, we'll look how LeBron trains, why he spends millions of dollars on physical fitness, and how he could end up as I the most durable- I tried that balancing on the ball. What was I doing? I was just balancing on it. I didn't even have weights and I was like, nah, bitch. Last week ever. Spends 1.5 million a year on his body. LeBron has a rule that he religiously follows, and that rule is that you keep the number one thing the number one thing. Translated, this means that basketball, which has been his primary source of income and a catalyst for all the other revenue Ooh. flows, always remains the number one thing during his playing days. LeBron understands that basketball is the driving force for most of his other ventures, and that his success oh, wow. off the court is closely tied to his success in the NBA, oh, as nobody wants though. to buy basketball shoes from an unsuccessful player. True. Even after his three rings and a thick resume that transcends basketball, Ooh. LeBron is still going strong Ew, in his 17th really? year, with no sign of slowing down. Down. I don't know what's wondering how that's possible. It's because he never stops training and spends huge amounts of money to keep his body in the best possible shape. He uses cryotherapy to decrease inflammation in his body and relieve muscle pain after hard training oh, sessions. Wow. Apart from freezing himself to death, <laughs> he also uses hyperbaric chambers to increase the amount of oxygen in his blood by simulating high altitude conditions, I which results it. in better endurance <laughs> and overall performance. In his recovery regimen, another modern gizmo is Normatec leg boot, which massages his lower extremities and keeps the muscles loose and warm, which I benefits with water. aches and soreness. He also gets private treatments with liquid nitrogen to help oh, wow. reduce inflammation. Other than that, he employs a team of personal chefs, massage therapists, and trainers to keep him in tip-top shape. Like Dwayne Johnson, another famous gym rat, LeBron has to pump iron everywhere he goes. Damn. Even if it's a yacht in the Mediterranean in the middle of the summer, the yacht has to be equipped with a gym because LeBron is addicted to working out. When he was filming Space Jam in the summer of 2019, he would spend up to 12 hours on the set, which is exhausting in itself. However, before every day of shooting, that would hours. usually start around 7 a.m., LeBron would already practice, which means he would wake up around 4 a.m. every day. Now that's, that's commitment. LeBron's greatness is taken somewhat for granted because he won the genetic golden ticket and grew up into a 6'8 uber athlete that can six, jump eight. out of the gym. However, there were many athletic guys in the NBA. For him to- Yeah, like- even if you're like seven foot and you are the laziest mother fudger in the entire world, you're not going to be the most successful anything if you are lazy. <laughs> you can't even like walk or whatever, right? So even if he's giving the genetics, the height, it's also up to him as a person. How much work is he going to put into um his craft right so it's kind of like let's say there's a, a skillful like a talented musician but then there's a mediocre musician and let's say this mediocre musician puts so much so much work to practice who is gonna be on top this one and this one is just not doing anything with your talent 
So it's up to the person, regardless of the genes. Granted, because he won the genetic golden ticket and grew up into a 6'8 uber athlete that can jump out of the gym. Though. However, <laughs> there were many athletic guys in the NBA. But for him to still be basically playing the same level past mm. the age of 35, now that's something else. Oh, so let's see. take a look at how he does it. LeBron James's workout routine. When we watch basketball games, we see the final product on the court, but everything that goes into it is what very few people understand. Yeah, LeBron is one of the hardest and smartest workers in the NBA, and the fact that he hasn't suffered a severe injury is not an accident. Oh, yeah, sure, I've never there heard, is like, some luck because freak injuries happen in basketball. Bad. LeBron is doing everything he possibly can to decrease the chance for injury, and the results have been tremendous so far man that helped him along the way and who is still his personal trainer and one of his closest associates is a man named Mike Mancius. Mancius is one though? of the top person personal trainers in the world and he became the LeBron what Tim Grover was for Michael Jordan. Mancius mm -hmm. began working for the Cavs in 2005 and LeBron asked for his advice when he was experiencing back tightness and knee soreness which were big problems since James wasn't yet 22. Mancius then oh. reconstructed his workout routine and is a big reason why LeBron was injury free for the majority of his career. Oh Mancius now has LeBron on a tight weekly schedule that includes weightlifting up to three times per week plyometric work or cardio wow. on the VersaClimber several wow. times per week in some form of yoga and stretching before and after every session. Of course, that doesn't include actual basketball training and around 100 basketball games he plays every year. Yoga and stretching is moving. something James learned out of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's book and then oh. took it to a completely different level. Kareem swore by yoga and said that it's only because of it that he was able to keep playing at the age of 40 and still be productive. LeBron suffered a first serious injury in the 2015 season. He had an injured disc in his back, and his mobility and explosiveness took a significant hit. Worried, LeBron reached out for help and got it from Donnie Raymond, a former Navy SEAL specializing in biomechanics and human movement. Raymond's expertise combines biology and physical mechanics, and he helped James to massively improve his core strength, posture, and get rid of all the back pain. LeBron also transformed the way he lands on the floor to preserve his joints. If you look at how he maneuvers landings after dunks, he's like a gazelle just softly touching the ground after a big jump, yeah, which goes a long way for knee and ankle durability. Damn. When it comes to optimizing performance, LeBron properly. kept no stone unturned and was not shy to ask for help. Because of all the work on his biomechanics, mobility, and state-of-the-art recovery systems, he's still at the top of the basketball world. Damn. Be the king, you have to think like a king and train like a king. And if you really want to know the full details of LeBron's workout, watch this one-hour uncut video of his training with Mancius on YouTube. Damn. LeBron James's nutrition. Hey, just like say with damn, training damn, and damn, recovery, time, huh? James also invests a lot in nutrition to replenish his body with the right fuel so he can perform at the optimal level. He eats about five times a day, a traditional breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a couple of snacks in between. James starts off the day with an egg white omelet with French toast. Or it works out a lot, so five times a day is like enough, or two, uh, what's this, too little even. Snacks in between. James starts off the day with an egg white omelet with French toast, or a turkey sandwich with avocados, or a yogurt with some fruit. If he feels that frisky enough, he even goes for some fruity pebbles, his favorite cereal. After practice, he eats a snack that is either protein shake with some almond or peanut butter or some more fruit. Before the game, LeBron usually eats a light lunch that involves lean proteins, leafy greens, and complex that carbs. So good. The most common choices are chicken oh breast and some God, pasta, so or a veggie salad with some fruits. During the game, he might go an energy bar or even peanut butter and jelly sandwich to keep him energized for the remainder of the game. After the game, LeBron's glycogen levels are depleted, and he is conscious of hydrating a lot after he burns a lot of energy. He religiously drinks a protein recovery shake and oh. carbohydrate-rich recovery fluids which are both provided by Mancius. James ramps up on the carbs in the playoffs because of greater energy expenditure, and he stays off sugar because it slows down the recovery process after games. For the same reason, he doesn't eat a lot of red meat, and he completely removed pork from his menu. He's more likely to indulge in sweets in the off-season, except for in 2014, where he temporarily went paleo and ate nothing but meats, fruits, and veggies for two months. Nice. And last but not least, like Ron that. is a very known wine aficionado and likes to drink quality vino yeah. after dinner. Apart from great taste, it helps him to fall asleep easier. To de-stimulate his brain, LeBron also uses the Calm Meditation app to shut off his mind and focus on the next day's he action. LeBron's longevity records.
If he keeps this pace and stays lucky with injuries, LeBron could break all kinds of records. Of course, the focus is on the all-time scoring list, where James is currently third behind Kareem and Karl Malone. If he Pat keeps playing into his 40s, he might amass well over 40,000 points and comfortably break Jabbar's record of 38,387. LeBron is also likely to be one of seven NBA players who have over 10,000 assists, joining Stockton, Kidd, Nash, Magic, and Mark Jackson, and probably Chris Paul. James is already in the top 10 of all time in the regular season when it comes to minutes played and the first in playoff minutes played. Wow. By the time it's all said and done, LBJ will likely be the player who played most basketball ever. Apart from his tremendous God-given talent, LeBron has an incredible work ethic and has made smart choices well, to keep him at the top for 17 then. years and counting. LeBron is already one of the most durable athletes. And once you learn about his habits, it's easy to see why. With a little bit of luck, he could become the most durable athlete ever wow. and further advance his case for the GOAT status in basketball. That is great to see. Obviously, athletes do invest a lot in their like workouts and nutrition and you know their body in general. But damn, LeBron is on another level, right? I don't know um, for everyone else what they do or how much they spend, but well, at least we know why he's doing great still at this age and why he's gonna keep you know getting better or staying at his level because me at the age of like i'm not gonna mention i'm like walking it i'm already tired right i'm already tired so the fact that he can like run do all this like workouts and then dunk and stay in great shape amazing it's all hard work it's nobody's um like obviously his team, right? His team is also like helping him out, but for the most part, he's putting in the effort and the work. So that's great. Um, let me know what you guys thought, and if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.